Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this problem, I'll show you how to determine the temperature at which a reaction becomes non-spontaneous using the relationship delta G equals delta H minus temperature times delta S. For this specific problem, you're asked, at what temperature does the dissolution of ammonium nitrate become non-spontaneous if delta H is 28.05 kilojoules and delta S is 108.7 joules per Kelvin at 25 degrees Celsius. What you want to do here is use the relationship delta G is equal to delta H minus temperature times delta S. And the way that you find out the temperature at which this reaction becomes non-spontaneous is that you make delta G equal to zero. You plug in your delta H value, you plug in your delta S value, which you're given in this problem, and you solve for temperature. And the reason you plug in zero for delta G is because you know that when delta G is greater than zero or positive, then your reaction will be non-spontaneous and that when delta G is negative or less than zero then your reaction will be spontaneous therefore the point at which the reaction becomes non-spontaneous will be when delta G is equal to zero. So in order to plug in these two values of delta H and delta S in order to solve for temperature you need to convert one of them to the units of the other. So in this case, let's convert delta S from joules per Kelvin to kilojoules per Kelvin. So all you have to do there is use a simple conversion. So 108.7 joules per Kelvin multiplied by the conversion 1 kilojoule per 1,000 joules is going to give you 0.1087 kilojoules per Kelvin. So now that you have both your delta H in kilojoules and your delta S in kilojoules, you can substitute things into the equation where you've equated delta G to zero. So what you'll have is zero is equal to 28.05 kilojoules plus temperature times 0.10 Eight, seven kilojoules per Kelvin. Moving your 28.05 to the other side by subtracting from both sides, you'll be left with 28.05 is equal to 0 0.1087 times T. And then dividing both sides by 0 0.1087, you're left with a temperature of negative 258.05 kelvins. Now that's in degrees kelvin, or in kelvins. So if you want to calculate that temperature to degrees Celsius, what you have to do is subtract 273.15. So you take your negative 258.05 minus 273.15 and that's going to leave you with a value of negative 531.2 degrees Celsius. So your answer in degrees Celsius and your answer in degrees Kelvin. So this is the temperature at which the reaction is going to become non-spontaneous.